The first arrest for violating the Hong Kong national security law was made just a day after it was imposed. The U.S. launched a bill to accept any of the city state's residents at risk of political oppression as refugees. Washington is also urging China to reconsider the controversial new law. Hong Yu reports. Despite authorities in Beijing and Hong Kong emphasizing that the legislation would only affect criminals and not the rights and freedom of its people, just a day after a controversial new national security law was imposed in Hong Kong, a man was arrested for having violated the law. He was holding a flag saying Hong Kong independence in Causeway Bay, Hong Kong, according to the city's police force on Wednesday. Just hours after the law was imposed on Tuesday, U.S. lawmakers launched a bill to give refugee status to Hong Kong residents at risk of political oppression. The Hong Kong Safe Harbor Act submitted Tuesday would allow the U.S. State Department to accept refugees if there is sufficient evidence to prove they are at risk of persecution for having participated in political events or for voicing political opinions. The U.S. Department of Commerce said Tuesday that it will allow some exports to Hong Kong until August 28th. On Monday, the U.S. had said it was suspending preferential treatment to Hong Kong over China, including the availability of export license exceptions. The U.S. said such measures were taken to protect U.S. national security as the export of sensitive items such as defense equipment and technology products could be controlled by mainland China. The U.S. National Security Council warned on Tuesday that they will continue to take strong action against Beijing's one country, one system. In a joint statement at the U.N. Human Rights Council in Geneva on Tuesday, the U.S., along with the other 26 opposing countries, said the new security law erodes the rights and freedom of the people of Hong Kong. Hong Yu, Arirang News.